Hi everyone, Coach Steve here. This is a short video to show you how you take the information from your FTP or your Functional Threshold Power bike test and update your zones for power and heart rate in Training Peaks. This will allow Training Peaks to automatically populate the right numbers for your level of fitness um, based on your FTP or your heart rate zones. Okay, so Key first step is to complete the FTP test. You can either do this by the prescribed session. Please note this is not a structured workout session, so you will not see it automatically uploaded into Zwift or Trainer Road, etc., because it requires a new pushing yourself to the limit rather than the system telling you this is your ceiling. You can also use um, one of the Zwift's or Trainer Road standard FTP tests as long as there are, is a 20 minute effort in the middle where you can take your heart rate zones or your FTP from. Okay, so once you have um, completed the test, you can select the average for the heart rate zones for the bike. And these are different to the heart rate, to the run heart rate zones, only slightly though, typically. And um, you go to your settings in the top right hand corner and you click on um, zones which will bring you to heart rate now i did my test and my heart rate threshold heart rate was 160 my maximum was 180 and my resting heart rate was 44. to choose the heart rate zones you select lactate threshold geoffrey for cycling calculate apply now training peaks will update all the numbers for the structured workout sessions based on heart rate into uh, based on those zones now, the threshold power, um, you will have got, an, um, if, you, if you've done one of the Zwift or the Trainer Road numbers and it gives you a specific FTP, just enter that in here, that number in directly, and then choose threshold power, Andy Coogan 6, calculate and apply. I have done my own test, so therefore I know that my number is, um, it was 240. Now I need to multiply 240 by 0.95 as you only want 95% of that FTP. It's just, it uh, helps the system equate to what you'd be able to hold that functional threshold power for an hour. So 240 multiplied by 0.95 comes in at 228. So I take 228, I put it into our threshold value, click threshold power, click Andy Coogan, Click calculate, apply there are my zones, and I will now click save and close. Okay. Once you've selected those, uh, this number will be pulled into um, should be pulled into Zwift, and um, you may need to update it directly in Garmin Connect. Um, but for training peaks um, sessions, all the numbers now will be based on those heart rate zones and for those uh, power zones. Okay guys, have a great day and enjoy your training.